Hey everybody, welcome back to our course on qualities of sound beams in ultrasound. In this lesson, we will discuss axial and lateral resolution, comparing and contrasting each, and discuss how to optimize each. First, let's define resolution. Resolution in ultrasound imaging is the ability to create accurate images. High resolution is essential for accurate diagnostic interpretation, ensuring that anatomical structures and pathology are clearly visualized. There are two main types of resolution that can help distinguish closely spaced structures as separate structures, axial and lateral. Each type plays a critical role in determining image quality. Optimizing these resolution types collectively enhances diagnostic accuracy. Axial resolution is the ability to distinguish two structures positioned along the path of the ultrasound beam. This resolution is measured in millimeters and determines how well the system can differentiate structures that are close together in the longitudinal axis, meaning they are at different depths. Synonyms you may see for axial resolution can be remembered with the mnemonic LARD, longitudinal, axial, range, radial, and depth. Axial resolution is influenced by spatial pulse length, transducer frequency, and damping material. Spatial pulse length directly affects axial resolution, as shorter spatial pulse length improves resolution by reducing the overlap of echoes from adjacent structures. Higher frequency transducers produce shorter wavelengths, which reduce spatial pulse length, or SPL, and enhance axial resolution. SPL determines the minimum distance required to distinguish two structures along the ultrasound beam's path, or parallel to the beam. Since SPL is the product of wavelength and the number of cycles in a pulse, decreasing the wavelength shortens SPL, allowing improved detail resolution. Higher frequency transducers generate shorter wavelengths because wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency. While this improves axial resolution, it also increases attenuation, reducing penetration depth. As a result, there is a trade-off between resolution and imaging depth, requiring careful selection of transducer frequency based on the clinical application. The damping material within the transducer minimizes pulse duration, which reduces spatial pulse length and improves resolution. To optimize axial resolution, Ultrasound systems use high-frequency transducers and employ damping materials to shorten pulse duration. This optimization is particularly beneficial when imaging superficial structures and small organs that require fine detail. Remember, the need for deep penetration is minimal for superficial structures, so higher-frequency transducers with shorter spatial pulse length are suitable for these images. Lateral resolution refers to the ability to distinguish between two structures that are side-by-side, -side, perpendicular to the ultrasound beam's path. This type of resolution depends on the width of the ultrasound beam and can be remembered with the mnemonic LATA, lateral, angular, transverse, azimuthal. Lateral resolution is determined by beam width, focusing techniques, and transducer frequency. A narrower beam provides better lateral resolution by minimizing the overlap of adjacent echoes. As a reminder, the shape of the sound beam plays a role with lateral resolution. This is discussed more in another lesson. Ultrasound systems use electronic or mechanical focusing to narrow the beam width at specific depths, which enhances lateral resolution in the focal zone. Electronic focusing is achieved using multiple piezoelectric elements in the transducer in a controlled sequence, often called phased array technology. Electronic focusing can be adjusted during the scan, can have improved resolution across a larger field of view, and has the flexibility to be used in different applications. Mechanical focusing is achieved by using an acoustic lens or curved transducer element to concentrate the ultrasound beam at a fixed depth, so it cannot be adjusted is less flexible, but is common in older and single-element transducers. Higher-frequency transducers are made with thinner PZT crystals and PZT crystals that have a higher speed of sound. This allows them to produce narrower beams, thus improving lateral resolution. Unlike axial resolution, which remains constant at all depths, lateral resolution varies with depth. It is best at the focus of the beam, which makes beam focusing techniques essential for optimizing image clarity in specific regions of interest. 
Each type of resolution contributes uniquely to diagnostic imaging. Axial resolution is optimized with high-frequency transducers and short spatial pulse length. Lateral resolution improves with beam focusing techniques and narrower beam width. In clinical practice, the optimal balance between these resolution types depends on the imaging scenario. In superficial imaging, superior axial and lateral resolution ensures detailed visualization of fine structures. Adjusting transducer settings and system parameters allows sonographers to achieve the best diagnostic outcomes for various clinical applications. In summary, this lesson covers two main types of resolution in ultrasound imaging, axial and lateral. Axial resolution, which determines the ability to distinguish structures along the ultrasound beam's path, is primarily influenced by spatial pulse length, transducer frequency, and damping materials. Lateral resolution, which refers to the ability to differentiate structures side by side, depends on beam width, focusing techniques, and transducer frequency. Each type of resolution plays a vital role in image clarity and diagnostic accuracy, and optimizing them requires balancing various system parameters based on the imaging scenario. Understanding and applying these principles ensures the best possible diagnostic outcomes in different clinical applications.